good morning my name is katie it is tuesday morning here in third grade welcome to a new video on my channel this is going to bring you along for a week in my life in third grade all right i'm going to talk to you guys while i'm pushing buttons on my computer so let me get my keyboard ready to go it is tuesday we had yesterday off for a fall break um, I am in the state of Florida though, so it's going to be a weird week because we have Hurricane I, not Ivan, Ian, Hurricane Ian coming in to the Gulf in the next few days. So a lot of counties in our state have closed. Ours is not one of the ones that has closed. So we are still here. We're still open today and we'll get an update at 2 o'clock p.m. this afternoon um, with like what's going to happen for the rest of the week, if we're going to be open or not. So. We're just taking it day by day. We are here, um, but today's also a weird day for me because I have the potential of having jury duty. Um, I have to call by 10 a.m. to find out if I have to be there at noon. And so that's kind of weird, um, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna be here for the morning. I'm pulling up my slide stuff on the board for math. Um, so I have all of our math instruction stuff ready to go. And I will like, it'll be a normal morning. My kids go to a special area around 10 o'clock anyways. So when I come back, I'm just gonna have to call the automated number to find out if I need to be there. And if I do, then I have a sub who's supposed to come at around 11 o'clock today. Um, and she will come and do the afternoon. So I just went to the copier this morning and made copies for that. If I don't have to go, then I'll just be here and I'll teach the rest of the day and it'll be like normal. So it's kind of going to be a wonky day. I'm going to keep getting stuff set up and ready on the board. I will try to pick you guys up later in the day and like show you what we're doing. But for right now, I'm like scrambling to get ready. So here we go. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna give you like 10 seconds as I walk around the room and get things ready to guess. Do you think that I had jury duty yesterday? Yes or no? Got your guess ready? The answer is no. I called and they said that all jurors were excused. I'm assuming it's probably got something to do with the fact that there's a hurricane coming for our state. So. I did not have to do jury duty yesterday, which was great. Um, I was able to have an afternoon as normal and not like miss a day of teaching in our curriculum, which was great. And then I had a parent conference that was scheduled that I got to keep and have my parent conference anyway. So it was good. Um, I'm very tired and it looks like the hurricane is not going to hit us as hard as we thought. So I'm thinking like we're probably not going to get a day off. And I started this week thinking we could get like two days off and now I'm looking, I'm like, we may not even get Friday off. So that's where we're at right now with um, our hurricane update. Um, as far as yesterday goes, what we did in the morning was we started the second half of our math chapter. Oh, look at my finger. The second half of our math chapter, which is going on to subtracting. So I moved our addition anchor chart up here because I don't use this TV. So I hung that up here and I need to make one this morning that says strategies for subtraction because that's what we're going into next. Yesterday we did like um, rounding to help us subtract. And so today it's looking at like different strategies to help us subtract. Um, my students did really good with adding though, because we did our mid chapter check last week and I was very impressed. I felt like they did really well. And all of those are great strategies for adding. So if you teach third grade, um, using an open number line, you can go back and pause from yesterday's clip too, but standard algorithm, um, the associative property. So adding tens and ones in whatever order to find like pairs that make 10 or doubles and then expanded form. So all of that was really great. And we're doing similar strategies for subtracting today, which is good. Um, so then after that, we did our AR reading time, which a lot of them are meeting their goals. So that was fantastic to see. So clicking buttons. Welcome to a morning in my life. Always turning things on on the board. Um, and then after that, they went to special area. That's when I came back and called to see if I had jury duty. And um, I didn't. Oh, no. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Okay, crisis averted. Um, class link, which is what we use for like all of our applications for school, was like asking me to sign in in a weird way that I'd never seen before. And I was like, please, please be working. I do not need this to be a morning where like the board is MIA. I'm not, 
I'm not there enough. <laughs> Today I need the board. Um, so then after they came back from special area, we did business as usual. We're starting informational text. So here's like what our anchor chart looks like. And last week on Friday, we just did a listening one. And so that was surviving the four corners. And we had to listen and talk about like the elements that made it an informational text. And then yesterday we started reading our like official text for the week, which is called Living in the Desert. And it was long, it was very long, but we had great conversations and did a lot of the think aloud strategies that you're supposed to do during the first read. Um, so I really try to stretch out that first read most of the time because um, if I stretch out the first read and we do good think aloud strategies then, then like the next couple times we read the text, it we can go a little quicker because today, like let me see if I can find a book, hold on. All right, here's like an example from our curriculum. Like today, we're gonna read the text again. So this is a page from the text, but we're gonna do a little close read and we're gonna focus on underlining. So it's like underline the context clues in the caption and the text that help you determine the meaning of the phrase ships of the desert. So we'll like read it and look and see if there's anything in the text that gives us a clue for why camels are called ships of the desert and we underline. So yesterday when we read through the text, I really focused on like, what do we see in this text? What do the chapters mean? What kind of text features do we have? Because today when we're reading it, I want to be able to just focus on using context clues and underlining. So we won't have as much time to stop and do all of that other stuff. So that's why it took a long time. Then they got started on their independent work, which was good. I felt like they did really well with that. I kind of scaled back the amount. I'm still kind of adjusting to see how much can they do during their rotation times. And I scaled back the amount that I gave them for spelling and vocabulary. And some of my kids have already spent, finished all of their spelling and vocabulary yesterday. Now, granted, it may not be the neatest. So today I'm going to challenge them to go back and like make sure that they're they're turning in their best work for their best grade. Um, but they still have two stories to listen to on their Chromebook and write about. And we still have, um, I think, three days, three days to work on it. Um, so I think that'll be fine. And then their like choice center is to get on epic or to get on prodigy english and they're very highly motivated by that so even like if they do finish they have a finisher activity um i was just like you know i didn't really know how much i i felt like last week i gave them too much this week i might have given them not enough but if i start or when i start pulling small groups i think this amount will be great because some of the time they will be at the back table with me like i had some students that i was progress monitoring yesterday so they didn't start so i wrote on their paper like on tuesday they did star with me that way when i go back and grade i can remember that in case they don't finish but i still think they'll probably finish so i like i feel like this might be the sweet spot for the amount of work i don't know so i need to start copying like things for the next unit and i'll probably do the same amount and just try it one more time if that makes sense then we did social studies. We're learning about government. We just did like a little um, activity sheet that goes with what we read last week about why we have government, why government's important. And then we did lunch, recess, tech time on Lexia, and then we went home. And so I'm tired and I'm back here today. We had friends over last night, which was fun. And my cousin's in town, which is also really fun. But you know, then you like stay up late chit chatting with everybody and all that take a look at my dilemma let me show you all right I'm showing you the side of the board over here I used WD-40 to clean this because it was like a TikTok hack and it makes it really easy to write on and wipe off because I did a small group over here and made a hot mess down here when we were practicing rounding but the problem is my wheel of excellence that I use for classroom management now does not stay on the board I'm gonna try to not make sure I don't show any student names so like it's supposed to be magnetic but now it slides down and I'm really ticked because I didn't like think about that but it's still like sticking. It's just slowly sliding. David said I should try dish soap up at the top of my board, um, but I forgot. So it's just gonna have to be the wheel of excellence is down here. And when I spin it, I'll pick it back up. But I was like, dang it. I even tried using this magic eraser to like clean up the area that I needed the wheel to hang. And I feel like it helped a little bit. I, don't, I just don't have any Dawn. I have a lot of dial like hand soap but I don't have any Dawn dish soap. And so that's what I need to take care of that. Sorry, y'all are like right up next to my face. So what I'm gonna do this morning, cause I'm here really early today, is I'm gonna finish setting up my board, my morning slides for today. And then I'm gonna get a head start on next week's plans on my little plan template. Maybe I'll be able to show that to you later today. Um, so you can kind of see what I'm using to plan this year. But I think getting a head start on what I'm doing next week will help me feel a little bit more grounded. And then maybe tomorrow with my extra time, I can like start making copies 
for the next week as well because the writing on the wall is we're probably not going to be out of school so we're going to be here the next couple days and plowing through the stuff that i already have copied so that's where we're at also here's my outfit for today i'm wearing this um I don't know if I'd call this a maxi dress. It's like a midi dress from Old Navy and it's got spaghetti strap sleeves up top. So I just took this t-shirt also from Old Navy and tied it around on top. Um, and then I was just gonna wear that because I was like, it won't be that cold. And it was, it was 60 degrees this morning in Florida. So I threw on this denim jacket that I'll keep on while I'm cold this morning, but I have a feeling by the afternoon, I will have shed the jacket. I won't need it anymore. But, and then, so it's all Old Navy. All of this is Old Navy my Ana Luisa necklace. I brought a hair clip just in case because the second day hair might drive me nuts. And then my shoes are from, I don't know where they're from. Are they like Pierre Dumas or something? Maybe from Shoe Station? I don't know. But this is our outfit of the day today. Thursday morning. I am very happy this Thursday morning because it is National Ice Coffee Day. And so I got a free medium iced coffee with a purchase. So my purchase, of course, was just a chocolate donut. I'm here to hype myself up because it looks like we will not be getting any days off for hurricane weather, which is fine. I'm very grateful that we're not having any hurricane weather here today or this week, um, but it would have been nice to have one day. So I'm hyping myself up with iced coffee today. <laughs> um, but I wanted to pull you guys over to my back table to show you, because I know yesterday I mentioned that I would show what I'm using to lesson plan this year, and I didn't. So here I am, I'm gonna show you the tool that I'm using to lesson plan. So last year I used plan book. Um, I know I've shown my plan book, like how I used plan book in a previous video from last year. So I'll try to link one above in the cards. If you're interested in what it looks like to plan with plan book, this year my school does not use plan book. So I've just switched to this template. I think I got it from Teachers Pay Teachers. And if I did, it will be linked below. It's just on Word. And it's just straight up like an outline that I edited to show like what we were doing. So it starts at the top and I'll try to put, sorry, the whole table just moved. I'll try to put like clips of this up close too so you can see as I'm talking through it. Um, I put like Miss Allen's weekly plans. I put the week number, the date, and then I put like what we're working on in, in ELA and in math. So we're unit one week four in ELA, chapter one in math. Um, then it has a breakdown of every day. There's nothing in Monday because we were out for a holiday, but I've got like our morning routine, attendance stem bins, and I've got a box for math. Sometimes I type in the math lesson in here and give myself like outline and bullet points. Other times I just put the session number. Depends on how much time I have and how familiar and comfortable I feel with like that particular session that I'm teaching. Um, then I have AR time. I've got our specials for the day, snack, read aloud. I've got our whole group right here that I kind of break down piece by piece and put page numbers to help myself teach through it. Our independent work time, um, social studies or science, lunch pack up, our tech time, and then our dismissal. And on the side, it just has all of the time frames. And I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the front, Thursday, Friday, and a place for to do's on the back. Honestly, I don't use that to-do section, but I really could. I kind of just use like a sticky notepad on my desk every day. And I write down my to-do list every day on there. Um, but this has been a good template to help me kind of like outline what are we doing and looking forward, how many units and how many sessions and all of that are we going to finish next week. I've also really enjoyed this template because I've been printing it out. If it's on one sheet of paper, I can have that paper with me on my desk and then I can use like pencil to edit it. Like, we didn't get to this session on Friday, and so I bumped everything. And I had already printed it, but that was okay. I just wrote on it with pencil and bumped it. Same with right here. I added in, okay, I wanna practice word study, and then I moved it over to Tuesday, like we're gonna practice a little bit of this kind of word study. On, I guess that was on Wednesday. Like, word study on Tuesday, and then we're gonna extend it to Wednesday. So, I like being able to edit it. So that's kind of what my weekly plans look like. Another thing that I just worked on was my small group schedule, and I may go switch it to another. Um, but I just finished working on my small group schedule. 
I found this on Pinterest and then I just made it my own, of course, with my like theme colors that you see all throughout the rainbow remix in my room. Um, and I went ahead and split my kids into groups. I made my time frame so I can see three groups a day for about 15 minutes and then 10 and 10. And if I go a little bit over, it's okay. We'll just see, I'm just gonna like try it out. And if I go a little bit over and it's too much, then I will um, like start my small groups a smidgen earlier and that's all right too. But I have like my group that I need to see just about every day, four days of the five that we do teaching. All my other groups I see three times and then my like ex extension or like, I don't wanna say gifted group, but like my really high achievers, I only see um, twice a week. So this is what I'm gonna to try to follow. I put it in a dry erase sleeve. I also have like a little frame that I could put it in, one of those little standing acrylic ones. But I was like, that will take up real estate on the table. This will be small and I can use a marker to cross it off because this is gonna be very different than how I've done rotations in the past. Again, I have a video on how I did rotations in first grade. We'll link it in the cards. It was very structured. You go here, you go here, you go here. I ring the bell. This is gonna be different because I'm gonna do it during their independent work time. And so I'm just gonna say, okay, group one, come back here. Or orange group, come back here. I'll probably call them by colors. Um, pink group, come back here. Blue group, come back here. And I'll send them while they're working at their seats, if that makes sense. So this is gonna be very different for me. So I'm gonna need this to like check it off. And then on the back, let's, let's see, I'll probably do it without showing any names. On the back, I did um, the same colors. And then underneath, it's just like the students who are in each group. So that's what I did last night. And I will not start that until I believe next Thursday is when we start unit one week five. No, it could be. Wednesday. It's next Wednesday is when we start unit one week five because Monday we're going to do writing, Tuesday we're going to do our assessments, Wednesday we're going to start our new unit. So I will start this next Wednesday. That's another reason I put like day one, two, three, four, five up at the top because this has been something that's kind of throwing me for a loop this year with our curriculum. We're not doing like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, test on Friday, then repeat. We're doing like seven day unit type things. I think I've shared this before, but it's like introduce day one, teach two, teach three, teach four, teach five, test on six, writing on seven, then it repeats. Introduce day one, teach two, teach three, teach four, teach five, te and then test on six, writing on seven. So it doesn't always fall like Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, which I kind of like because we've had some short weeks, like this week we had fall break, we had Labor Day, and it doesn't like totally throw off your week when you have a holiday. Um, it doesn't make you feel like you have to cram everything in in just like four days so but it is taking adjusting so that's one of the reasons i put like day one day two day three up at the top and another reason why this lesson plan template has been like more useful for me this year than it was last year because my mondays don't always look the same so this helps me now there is like a flow like our day ones always look the same but that doesn't always fall on a monday so this has been helpful for me so there's a little blurb about a small group planning. I'm gonna um, get stuff ready to go and start making some master copies for next week for, you know, Wednesday that I was just talking about when we start our next new unit. Um, and I'm gonna eat my donut and sip on my coffee while I do it. Cheers to Thursday, friends. It's almost Friday. We're almost to the end of this week. It's just been a busy week with jury duty on the brain, hurricane on the brain, had some meetings this week and I came in on a Tuesday and we have a family in town that was in a different part of Florida that came up and they are staying with us because they were trying to get away from the hurricane. Um, they were at Disney and they're trying to like leave so they aren't in the hurricane zone. So it's just been like a lot mentally for me this week and I'm feeling it, I'm feeling tired. <laughs> so that's why I got my little pick me up today from Duncan and the lady was so nice. Oh my goodness, she was so nice. I haven't been to Duncan in a while because it was not on the way to school. It's actually, I go 10 minutes and then eight minutes. And usually it's just like an eight minute drive for me to school. So it added like an extra 15 minutes, but I didn't fix my breakfast at home this morning. So I saved that time like in my getting ready and I had a gift card. So gift card and it was only like $1.20 for the coffee because all I really paid for was the donut. I mean, come on people, come on. Okay, that's enough rambling about my donut. Let me show you my outfit because I love it today. I also wore an outfit that I love to hype me up and then I'm just gonna get started. All right, here's my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this cute like mauve pink corduroy jacket thing that I got from Marshalls back in July and I was so excited when I found it. Um, I'm wearing just an Old Navy Luxe striped shirt with Old Navy jeans. I'm wearing some shoe station shoes and then my jewelry is Ana Luisa as always. I've got my little hoops and my necklace in but this is like my favorite color pink. 
absolutely my favorite color. Like my bridesmaids dresses were like this color. So when I found this jacket at Marshall's, I was like, it's a must. And it's not super thick. It's very soft. And it is like, it does keep you warm, but it's not super thick, which is perfect for Florida because I don't need like a thick, heavy coat. This is more like, it functions more like a cardigan to just like add to the outfit and keep you a little bit warm, which I love. So that's my Thursday outfit. For Friday morning. I don't know how we made it to Friday, but we did. I'm gonna work on getting stuff pulled up on my board. I got here just a little bit ago and I've been working on some stuff. I need to type up my unit two essential questions for reading because I'm realizing like we have a couple weeks and then that's gonna start. So I was like, well, that's something I can get ahead of. Um, and then I was working on my spelling packet for next week. There's my green screen. Always makes my face look green. Um, and I discovered that, um, well, I didn't discover anything. I finally like picked out all the spelling activities I wanted them to use to practice their words next week and I took it up to the copying machine and I was like, oh yeah, I know how to make the copying machine, staple it in the packets and all this stuff. And I would scan it and just nothing was happening. And it was just sitting there and there was no jam, thank goodness, cause that's happened before. <laughs> so at least I was like, I didn't break it. It's just not, not printing. It was just scanning and sitting there. So I was like, you know what? I don't need to have this until next Wednesday. So I'm not about to fight the copier machine, copying machine this morning. I might try it this afternoon, but we're going to Auburn for a football game this weekend. And so I may not have time to try it this afternoon either. Go figure. Um, so we'll see. I can always do it next week. It's just good to get here early and do it like early in the morning because then you get like, you have time and there's nobody in line. But then the downside of that also is like, if it's not working and something's not spitting out, usually there's not, anybody in the office yet for me to be like, hey, this is just frozen or this isn't working. So that was kind of the case this morning. So I tried to get ahead on that, but it didn't really work out. But here is what I've got it right here, ready to go on my spelling activities. Um, and I already did the vocabulary packets yesterday at the um, small copier. So I'm like halfway ready for that. And I also need to do our rotations checklist. So I'm not like completely ready, but it's totally fine. Totally fine. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Should be a pretty normal Friday today. Um, I'm gonna try to like jump out of here right on time so I can go this weekend. We can take our trip, but it should be pretty average. I'm a little sad because I'm looking at all my uh, Christmas lights. Look at all these lights that are out. Also, I forgot for like the fourth time today to bring dish soap, so I don't think the wheel's gonna hang out up here. And part of it, it's like really close, see? I washed it with hand sanitizer up there. So it's like very close. I think I just have to wash the wheel magnets with dish soap now. Anyways, but I've got so many lights that are out. These are out. I've got a whole strip right here that's out. I really don't want to replace them, but I can. I have replacements. I think I have some already that are like ready to go, but I just don't want to plug them in. So yeah, that's it. We just have a normal day in math. We're doing a math lesson on a subtra subtraction strategy. And then in reading, it's our last teaching day on this curriculum. So I have the students like partner read a story. Then they work on a selection quiz, which is like a response independently. And then I also have like a practice page for long vowels that I'm probably gonna have them do. And then we'll do our independent work time and I'll pull some groups. Um, and then we'll have a little bit of social studies to work on the next like fill in the blank where I've been reading about government and then doing like a fill in the blank worksheet on that. So I have the next one for that today. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else, then we'll have a recess and the day will be over. So I'm just going to try to make it. Today is go gold day. Let me show you like my outfit. It's go gold day for childhood cancer. So I'm wearing this goldish colored top. I'm wearing some straight cut jeans, which I've been into lately. And then just my, my A necklace and my Converse. So that's the fit of the day. I think I jinxed myself. 
this whole strand just went out. I was sitting over at my desk and I just saw a flicker and I looked up, all dead. So I think I have time. I've got to figure out like where, I think the plug's like back here behind that bookshelf. So I think I have time to replace them. I'm gonna try to do that real quick. up a year ago in my classroom and literally leave them on all day. So for that to last, that strain to last like an entire year is pretty impressive. <laughs> Just Walmart Christmas lights. All right, we are in route to Auburn. I've secured Chick-fil-A for dinner. David is driving. He's an awesome, awesome chauffeur. What do they call it on um, like the TikTok videos? What do they call the passenger? Hold on. What do they call the passenger in like the TikTok videos? Like when the wife gets to just ride in the seat in the in the passenger seat. Isn't there a name for it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, us. Uh, passenger princess. Is that it? Or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Like that. Anyways, I'm just riding, chilling. I got some Chick Fil A. Today was. Today was not it, but we survived. We made it through the day. Um, I had so much to do after school. I had so much grading to do. I had to upload data, and then I changed our calendar to be October. It's crazy. Um, things I'm doing differently for the calendar, which you probably didn't need to know, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. I'm adding an index card that shows where our spelling test is and our math test, because they ask me so many times, when's our spelling test, when's our spelling test, and I tell them, because we're not doing them on Fridays, and they're so used to having it every Friday, that we come in and they're like, wait, we don't have a spelling test today? I'm like, no, y'all, we don't have a spelling test today. I told you, we don't have a spelling test this week. It's gonna be next week. So I've put it on the calendar, put it on the calendar. And I think what we'll do on Monday is we're gonna take out our planner and write it down on the wind, on like the October spread. I'm still learning third grade things and like planners and writing down homework and all of those things that I didn't have to do in first grade land and I'm doing now. So that's something that I'm doing differently, but it was so nice to change the calendar to October. I'm also reading in the car, the BFG, because I was trying to decide what I want my next read aloud to be. I'm kind of like, eh, I'm the one we're reading now. We're reading a fudge book by Judy Bloom, and it's good, but I'm like, eh, probably wasn't the best choice for a read aloud. Like, I could, I could find better books to read aloud. Um, like, that's a good one for the kiddos to read, just maybe not for, like, the whole class read aloud. I did um, Third Grade Angels, and now I did Super Fudge, Judy Bloom. And so now I'm going to read the BFG because one of my students today said this was one of his favorite books. And I told him, I was like, I was thinking about doing that as my next read aloud, and his eyes just lit up. And so I was like, yes, because this, my third grade teacher read this book to me. I was in third grade and I absolutely loved it. And David was like, oh, I remember that book. So for a little bit, um, I was just reading out loud. We've gotten to like, I don't know, chapter six, like 40 pages in. I've just been reading it out loud to Dave. He's gonna take a listening break and I'm gonna take a reading out loud break and just read it to myself. Um, that's what we're doing to keep ourselves busy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining for this insane week in my life. Hurricanes, jury duty, conferences, meetings, my Christmas lights went out. It was just nuts. So I'm very glad I survived this week on to October. Woohoo! As always, thank you so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will have new videos coming out for you guys and anytime you give it a thumbs up or you comment or you subscribe or any of that, it supports my channel and I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.